What if I told you that being tall, something many people consider an advantage, might actually be shortening your lifespan? And what if the research backing this up comes from over 2.8 million people across multiple continents? I'm Lucas from Boost Your Biology, and today we're diving into one of the most counterintuitive findings in longevity research. By the end of this video, you'll understand why shorter people are more likely to outlive taller people and the biology behind this relationship. Let's start with the data. A 2021 meta-analysis published in the European Journal of Public Health analyzed 15 studies covering nearly 3 million people and 1.5 million deaths. The results revealed a U-shaped relationship where the lowest mortality risk occurred at moderate heights, 174 centimeters for men and 158 centimeters for women with both very short and very tall people having higher mortality risks. You may have thought that the shorter the better, but this is not true. This figure from the study shows the U-shaped relationship between height and all-cause mortality risk for both men and women, with the solid line representing the best estimate and the outer lines showing 95% confidence intervals. The graphs reveal that mortality risk is lowest at moderate heights around 174 centimeters for men and 158 centimeters for women, while both very short people, likely due to malnutrition or poverty effects, and very tall people facing increased mortality risk, confirming that neither extreme of the height spectrum is optimal for longevity. Now let's examine additional research findings. The UK Biobank study, one of the most rigorous genetic studies ever conducted, used a technique called Mendelian randomization to look at 438,870 people. This study found that each nine centimeters extra of genetically predicted height above the mean increased cancer risk by 10% and 9% for mortality. Interestingly, the effect was larger for women. However, that is potentially because the results were pooled, meaning a nine centimeter increase in height for women is proportionally higher than for men. So why would being taller potentially shorten your life? It all comes down to a hormone called insulin-like growth factor one or IGF-1. Think of IGF-1 as your body's growth accelerator pedal. When you're growing up, IGF-1 is fantastic. It builds your bones, muscles, and organs, but higher IGF-1 levels also increase cellular metabolic demands and may accelerate cellular aging processes over time. A study in Nature Communications showed that giving aged mice an anti-IGF in one treatment extended their lifespan by 9%, even when started late in life. Additionally, multiple mouse strains, Snell and Ames mice with reduced growth hormone and IGF-1 signaling live 42 to 70% longer than normal mice. But it's not just about IGF-1. In fact, some literature found strength of the association did not differ by IGF-1 concentration, taller people generally have more cells in their bodies. More cells mean more opportunities for something to go wrong, more chances for cancer-causing mutations to occur. Additionally, higher IGF-1 also activates something called the MTOR pathway. While this link hasn't been directly studied, greater activation of MTOR may suppress autophagy. Moving on to cardiovascular effects, the relationship between height and cardiovascular disease reveals a complex pattern where each 10 centimeters increase in height produces opposing effects on different conditions. A massive German study of 657,310 outpatients found that taller individuals enjoy substantial protection against coronary heart disease with 13% lower risk in men and 9% lower risk in women as well as 10% lower ischemic stroke risk in men and 3% lower hypertension risk in women. However, greater height dramatically increases other cardiovascular risks with 25% higher atrial fibrillation risk in both sexes and approximately 24% higher venous thromboembolism. These divergent patterns likely reflect anatomical trade-offs where taller people have larger heart chambers that predispose to arrhythmias and longer blood vessels with greater hydrostatic pressure promoting clot formation, while shorter individuals face higher coronary disease risk due to proportionally smaller coronary arteries that are more susceptible to blockage from equivalent plaque burdens. 
Now, what about the blue zones, those areas famous for exceptional longevity? In Okinawa, Japan, male centenarians average just 4 feet 10 inches tall, and women average 4 feet 7 inches. They're significantly shorter than mainland Japanese. Looking at the flip side of this, a 2017 study of nearly 4,000 former NBA and ABA players found that taller basketball players had shorter lifespans. The tallest players, top 5%, lived an average of 56.6 years compared to 75.1 years for the shortest players, bottom 5%. But it's important to note this study is largely made up of lifespan data from the 20th century, which is why it, the ages seem so young. Using survival analysis, researchers found that taller players had a 30 to 40% higher risk of death at any given time compared to shorter players, supporting the broader scientific finding that extreme height may reduce lifespan due to increased cellular stress. However, this effect was mainly seen in players born before 1941, and even the tallest NBA players still outlived the general population of their era, suggesting factors like wealth and healthcare access also play important roles. This is absolutely crucial and shows there is no need to be very concerned if you are tall and even extremely tall, such as in the case of NBA players. So what can you actually do with this information? First, if you're tall, don't panic. This research should inform your health strategies, not cause anxiety. While height might play a small role in longevity, it's just one factor among many that are far more important and actually within your control like exercise, diet, sleep, and not smoking. If you're concerned about health risks, talk to your doctor about what preventive steps make sense for your individual situation. Focus on the lifestyle changes that actually matter rather than worrying about things you can't change. What do you think? Have you noticed that shorter people tend to live longer in your own life? That's all from me today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next video.